my channel. This is Josephine where I share some of my favourite vegan recipes as a home cook. So if that's something you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I post videos regularly. Today I'm making a tofu scramble which is a delicious breakfast, brunch idea, um, really nutritious, packed with protein and really easy to make. So I can't wait to share this recipe with you. If you like what you see, don't forget to thumbs up and leave a comment for what you want to see next. Without further ado, let's get started. For ingredients, you're going to need some super firm tofu, as well as some ground turmeric for the color, some plant-based butter, as well as some chives for the seasoning. I'm using sourdough bread to serve everything on, pepper, salt, garlic powder, smoked paprika, onion granules, plant-based milk, I'm using cashew here, and nutritional yeast for that funky flavour. And here are your ingredients. I'm starting this recipe by melting some vegan butter on a medium-high heat and toasting off my spices just to release the flavour in them. I always like to cook my spices. So I'm using about a tablespoon of turmeric, maybe half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, about half or quarter of a teaspoon of onion granules and a teaspoon of garlic powder and then I'm just stirring those in and toasting them off for a maximum of two minutes. You don't want to burn them um, but you just want those flavours to be released before you put in your tofu and other ingredients. So as you can see here, I'm also seasoning right from the base. Pepper is really important to activate the turmeric. And then I'm also adding a generous helping of salt, just to make sure right from the get-go everything is nicely seasoned. Then I'm using my fingers to crumble in the tofu. Tofu is quite amazing because when you crumble like this, you can see it's already got the texture of scrambled egg, um, which is really cool. And also because it holds quite a lot of water in it, the water is going to help pick up those spices and really coat that tofu and let those flavours seep into it. So give it a good mix um, until you're happy with the texture. I use the back of the spoon to squish the tofu down to continue to create the texture that I like. I know some people like a drier scramble, I like a more creamy scramble. So. You know, you can modify this recipe as you wish to your desired texture, but I'm just making sure that all the pieces of tofu are coated in that flavour. And you can see the colour change and it's quite amazing how eggy it actually looks, um, as you can see here. And then I'm going to let that cook for about five minutes while I prepare the toast. So I'm just slicing myself two pieces of sourdough bread and popping that in the toaster while the tofu's cooking. So when I've got to the sort of five minute mark, I'm adding a splash of my plant-based milk, again, to create that creamy texture, stirring that in until I'm happy with the texture of it. And then using some scissors, I'm just going to chop in most of the chives. I'm leaving some for garnishing at the end. And then I will cook this for about one more minute, stir everything in and take it off the heat and it's ready to serve. As you can see, the texture and the look, I mean, I feel like anyone <laughs> would think this is real scrambled egg. So to serve, I'm just laying out my toasted bread. I'm adding a little bit more butter because I felt decadent today onto each slice of bread. And then I'll be spooning on my tofu scramble before garnishing with a sprinkling of nutritional yeast as it adds a sort of um, funky, it's a bit cheesy flavour which I think helps bring out that eggy vibe um, and as you can see here I'm spooning that on and then you're ready to serve. This is such a quick and easy delicious meal really great for breakfast um, with maybe a smoothie or some greens full of protein completely delicious and definitely a nice recipe for if you do miss things like scrambled egg 
this is a really nice alternative and so much better for you. So here I'm sprinkling on that nutritional yeast, um, just a little pinch, and I'm chopping up the rest of my chive as a final garnishing and to add a little bit more freshness to the dish and then you're ready to serve. Just look at how delicious this is. I honestly can't wait to dive in. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and let me know what you'd like to see next because I'll be making videos regularly. All right, bye.